uh, his pop in it blood, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ben Gibson. You may have seen me in other educational videos as in Marxism and Nature. Today we're here to talk about footpath erosion and how it can be managed to save the surrounding area from further erosion. Okay, so here we are at uh, Royden Park. Um, as you can see here just behind me, there's a, a fair whack of uh, erosion. Um, you can see these three tiered uh, paths up here that have um, been eroded. Here's a classic example of this biker coming down. Um, that's adding to the uh, to the erosion that we have going on here at Royden Park. Um, so the issues that we want to raise today is how can these uh, how can we uh, manage these um, these footpaths? Can we make them any better with um, the council? We'll find out later. One of the consequences of footpath erosion is that we lose vegetation. Um, people go walking through, um, disrupt the, the plant life, um, carve it up. We get footpaths looking as it is now. Um, one of the consequences is we go from this to this. We are an area that has been widely affected by people using it. For example, you can see the dog walkers just over here. It's a very good example. There's not real, there's not really one path that you can see where you can stick to. It's obviously been used by lots of people. You can see footprints going off that way. We've got some doggy footprints over here. It's split off into many different sections. This is a good example of where they've not really made people stick to a certain path. And the Peter Wooden Park, some of the paths have been managed, such as this path over here. However, there have been people making alternative routes, such as these steps here. There have been steps to put in place, but there's an alternative route just here that people have thought was better. People's recreational use of this area has eroded the land around it because you can see the roots of these trees and all the way down here see roots branching out along the path but then what you need to ask yourself is if we were to just clear all these trees and then pave a nice path along would that be natural would that look good would that be what the people want question mark what <laughs> example of a well-managed area. But the problem is, is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Has it taken away the essence of the nature? Here you've got a brilliant example of a, a well-managed uh, path. Up at the top of the steps, it's slightly eroded. But you see, if you put the steps in, it's well-managed, well-maintained, and it provides access for people to come across uh, this pond. Normally they wouldn't have, and they can get to the other side. So here we have a good example of a management scheme that they've put in in this area where they've built these wooden planks raised up off the ground stops people walking off, although it is quite wet here it may be dry in the summer stops people walking over this area where you can see vegetation has been damaged trampled down these wooden, <coughs> wooden planks keep people in, in place and uh, hopefully keep the dogs on the lead don't let them run off in this area